Hey. Sierra, let's go, man. Come on, go get it. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god. Cranes. Oh my god, slow it down. Oh, those flares. Oh, this looks good, man. This is the zip line, the zip line specialist. I forgot the name. Oh, that dust storm looks insane. Oh, that was the leak screenshot. <laughs> what right there? Tank dropping in. Oh, sweet. Third person cameras, confirmed. Oh my god. I'm gonna guess that was a cannon from an Osprey firing there. That's another stealth jet. This looks absolutely mad. Elevators are back, baby. <gasps> oh, that's fucking awesome. That's fucking awesome, man. C4? He did see C4 at the quad! <laughs> this, oh, what are those side gunners? Were those side gunners on an... Was that a transport? Hell yeah, I didn't really catch that. I thought it was an attack chopper. It's the wingsuit. Oh my god, he's like gaining altitude, man. There's too much. There's too much to take in, man. Oh, please let there be more. Is that it? Pretty sure that's it. Is somebody going to talk about it now? I think that's it. That's all we're going to get. Oh my god, that looks so good, though. So, how was your day? Oh, you know. Oh, it looks so good, man. What is this, my birthday? We're having a baby. Uh, I'm sorry, I gotta turn this down. I don't even know what this is, but like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't pretend that I haven't just seen that. Jesus. Let me see if it's been uploaded on the Battlefield official channel. Just because I need to watch that again. It was so fast. Here we go. Battlefield. Official gameplay trailer. Okay, I'm, I'm, I don't know if anyone else cares about the rest of the show, but... You go have to watch it somewhere else because I'm gonna watch the gameplay trailer again with proper. This has got to be higher quality. Let's watch it in 4K. I think so. Yeah. Let's let's do some. Let's watch it again, and then after that, we'll we'll do some pausing. Sorry. Oh, this is way better quality. Attention, all squads. The Russian troops are falling back. Okay, actually, you know what? I, I'm sorry. i got to pause it here. I'm just looking at the weapon here and all of the UI elements and stuff. So it says here, MD540 Nightbird. I'm guessing that's the transport helicopter that this guy is in. And there's four seats in here. This guy's also got 46 rounds in the magazine. So I don't know if this is... I don't think this is an LMG. No, it's not. Look at the icon here, man. This looks like some sort of an SMG. <clears throat> He's got a silenced pistol here. Like, I need to... I will, like, download this video and get really, really high-quality screenshots that I can zoom in with, but I can't... I can't do that in here. I didn't see any attack jets, though, guys. I gotta be honest, I did not see an attack jet. That's an SU-57, right? No. Is it a F-35? Sorry. <clears throat> 
There's an Apache flying by. There's a tank down there. There was also so few... Was it an SU-57? Okay. There were so few shots of, like, in-vehicle action. Okay, here we are in the pilot seat of one of the attack. This is the Apache War Chief. So this is the little tease that we saw yesterday, but this is obviously, like, much better quality. So you have got a speedometer here, altitude meter. Um, oh, oh, this is his squad mate over here. I'm not sure what this little triangle... I think that that's probably a marker showing that he's above you in altitude, I would guess. Here's like a another tank down there. A light tank. Regroup. You got the hit marker thingy there. All right, it's just so it's so fast. It's so hard to get all the action. I'm just looking at the weapons here as well. It doesn't show you the name. This is rocket pack. So this guy's got apparently the primary weapon here is just called rocket pack. I don't know if that's just a placeholder name because rocket pack doesn't sound um, that exact. And then this secondary weapon here, I didn't notice this yesterday, but it's got this little like circular thing there with a little line coming out of it. I'm not, I don't know what that signifies. If anyone knows about missile things, <laughs> by all means, let me know. Hydra's secondary is a heat seeker. I would, I would have thought so, yeah. And then here you can also see the recharge. So this guy has fired off all of his rocket pods. And that's what the that's what these little squares are for. A lot of people have been saying that this UI is ugly. Um, but the reason behind it is that you can see things that are sort of recharging. So you can see the flares here. There's a little line here, even though it's sort of grayed out because he doesn't have it selected. That's how long you've got for the flares to recharge. And then obviously his primary here is is reloading as well. And you've also got the infinite ammo here. Look at the s scale of the map, though. Like, look how far it is over to that bridge. So we also saw this shot as well. This third gadget this guy has, it's really hard to see what that is. The, this one looks like some sort of a launcher. But it, this guy is uh, called Mackay. I'm not sure. Is that one of the operators we actually heard about? I can't remember the names of them. <clears throat> Only has one for ammo count, maybe a tow. It could be Lewis, yeah, I did notice that as well. Ah, yes, the grappling gun. That makes total sense. That's why it's got infinite ammo. So here we see him using the grappling gun. So you can just jump with it, fire it mid-air, and grapple up onto somewhere. That's awesome. And then we see this guy doing one of the takedown animations. Hopefully they're not going to be as glitchy as the takedown animations in Battlefield 4. <laughs> what is this here? Uh, I'm just looking at... Do you guys notice this tiny little white semicircle under his uh, sight? This is actually counting sort of down to the right. Or sort of emptying, I suppose you could say. And here, look at this SU-57 up here. Oh man, and it's, it's so tiny. And there's just a bunch of, there's the B flag down there, or one of the B areas. A bunch of tanks and infantry down there. So this is one of the leaked shots that we had. This is where everyone was like, what? The Ospreys don't have propellers? I'm not really certain what this is, because this seems to be like one button here. It has, it's got a picture of a flare. It also has a picture of what kind of looks like rocket pods, but could be where the flares fire out of. But he doesn't have any weaponry. So I'm guessing only the gunners can fire. And it's pretty much the transport chopper situation in Battlefield 4. Where if you're piloting, you can't fire anything. That's okay. Gunner seats on Osprey, man. Three. Three gunners as well. Not just two, but three. That makes sense though, right? Because there's uh, <clears throat> there are more players. Sorry. Let me go back one sec. I missed. I missed that. What was that? What is that? Is that an Osprey? I, I think that just is an Osprey. It just looks so different from the side, man. Anyway, this is the same operator here. There's a tank dropping in. That's what we're going to get to see here. 
That's so cool, man. So atmospheric. Looks like an A10. I wish it was an A10, bro. This is where we get to see some of the tank action. I think there was a first person shot. Uh, let's have a look down here. This looks like an APF SDS shell. It says 120 mil smooth bore here. And he's got six of those. Secondary weapon is um, some sort of HMG, I guess. This looks like smoke. And then you've got, again, I guess this is going to be quick repair. And then you've got top gunner and you've got a rear gunner or back gunner as well. And this spotter. So we can't really see anyone here. I would like to see what the rear gunner can actually aim at. It makes sense though, right? You've got so many more players. Instead of putting lots and lots of vehicles in the game, they probably decided to have just a few more vehicles, but many more seats in them. So to give all those extra players something to do, just jump in a vehicle and there's way more seats in there. Wow, that explosion looks good. Okay. So this guy fired here in uh, third person. I don't see an aiming ret reticle. <clears throat> wow, look at the explosion. I didn't realize how much light that created, but there's no aiming reticle in uh, this guy's third person. So that's an interesting, interesting move. Okay, here's the first person view of the, of the tank. Here, thank God, you have an aiming reticle. Here you've got your degrees. You've got a distance marker up here. Or what does this say? Cam? Does it say camera FOV? POV? I'm not exactly sure there. <clears throat> it could just be off. Of course, this is all pre alpha You'll probably notice that the graphics, like, they do look good, but they're not like what you would expect it to look like running in ultra at 4K. So... This is definitely like pre-alpha stuff still. But this looks, this looks juicy, man. I'm not sure what this bar represents on the right hand side here. Yeah, speed on the left. It does say cam FOV there. So I'm not sure if that's actually just like a filler kind of part of the UI or if it's actually useful. Yeah, the map shows red areas, like areas that you haven't capped. They're just completely red. And the green areas are areas that you have capped. It makes it kind of hard to uh, see what's on the map. But here you can see what is most likely a symbol for a scout helicopter. And of course, here you can see this guy with a, a jeep over in the distance. Although it's not the enemy jeep because it's green. So not exactly sure how much distance that is there. Oh, there, there he is. There's the enemy jeep. It just came past there. So this is the Jeep. Oh, look at the little screen down there. I like the fact that they've got these little extra, extra things included. This looks like smoke. So you can just, you know, if you're getting locked on by something, you can smoke off in the Jeep. And this is called an LATV4, apparently. Five flags only on a massive... No, I think it's not five flags. They've got different sectors. So those are now not flags, but A, B, C, D, and E sector or whatever it's going to be called. So within each sector, there are a number of different parts of it that you have to capture to get that area or get that. I don't know if they're going to call it flags anymore because flag is just like one flag in the ground. The The individual areas are probably going to be called flags and A is going to be called like A area or sector or something like that. Um, <clears throat> so it sort of splits it. You know, you have to capture all of those small areas to actually get the credit to one your team and get the ticket lead presumably, like, on the enemy. Right, that, that gun right there, that's firing... Oh, that's his gunner. Okay, I thought that was an Osprey earlier in the trailer. That is this guy's gunner. That thing looks like an absolute beast. Okay, here we can see... Oh, this is his position here. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I thought this was a tank position in the video, but apparently this is the gunner position from the Jeep. Uh, and it looks pretty similar to... The tank reticle. So this is a hit marker here, I guess, going around the central cursor. And here's uh, the same icon that you have in Battlefield 5 for the overheating of the wep <coughs> of the weapons with infrared ammo. Man, I can't talk anymore. <laughs> for the overheating of the weapons of infinite ammo. I need, I need a, I need a swig. I'm so excited. Oh my god. 
But where are the JDOMs, Dice? Where are all the JDOMs? Damn, look at that. That looks great. This is one of the things I've always said that I wanted as well. When vehicles blow up, they don't just blow up like in an insignificant explosion. You know, they actually have like physics that affect the way they the way they go. Like if a, if a plane crashes into the ground, it's going to smash into the ground and mud and dirt and sand will get kicked up and it will just like, you know, fly off for like a few hundred meters down a runway or whatever. That's the kind of stuff I want to see, not just like a, you know, the way they fly into the ground in BF4, they fly and then they just stop statically, kind of stick in the ground and then there's just a little explosion and, and that's it. So that was a... What, I'm just trying to look at the weapons underneath here. There are some missiles equipped there. Those are... I don't know if they're... It's not in the bay, at least, like it is in Battlefield 4. So these are like underwing missiles. They could be heat seekers. I honestly have no idea what those are. Just by looking at the jet. Anyone have any idea? They look like LGMs. Yeah, I thought so. So... I'm not sure if that means there aren't going to be in attack jets, but at least it's good that those are confirmed to have some sort of ground weaponry. Stop. Spin back there. Do we miss, miss anything here? Not so much, I don't think. Are we on... I think we're on... No, we're on a different operator now, though. So, this person's running with a pistol, what looks like an assault rifle with, like, an ACOG sight or something. And then again, the third weapon here has like an infinite sign. It's really hard to tell what it is just from the symbol though, you know? And then they've got this same sort of, this same launcher icon that the last operator had. And this this one here is also the same. I'm not sure if that's like, oh, you think it's a wingsuit? It could be the wingsuit, yeah. Although you would expect that to be like a picture of like wings, you know, sort of fanning out. I'm not sure if this is like C4, is it a radio? I don't know, man. So here comes the tornado, the twister with the lightning and everything. And that scout heli was just absolutely spamming minigun rounds at something there. Crashes into the side of the building. Oh, this looks so good. Let's have a look at this here where he changed his weapon. Okay, here we go. So here you've got silencers and whatnot, like muzzle attachments. Here you've got your sights. Here you've got your grips. And here you've got magazines of varying sizes. So you can pretty much fully customize your weapon on the go. That's awesome, man. This actually looks really, really good. Is this a vector? This looks like a Chris vector, right? There's no UI in this shot. I, I, oh, I guess when you go into this uh, menu here, your UI just disappears. Let's see. So... He just selected there, and it just, nothing, he didn't have to go through any animation. The weapon just kind of went down, he lowered it, he brought it back up again, and it was already equipped. And now you can actually see from the image of the weapon here that he has that magazine that he just showed he equipped in that specific scene, which looks like a, a drum magazine there. And uh, he's got 51 rounds in that thing. I don't know what the hell this attachment is on top of the, he's got a revolver here, like a magnum or something, and there's a huge scope on that. And again, we've got some different different gadgets here. I think this could be some sort of mine. It's just really hard to second guess what these gadgets are from these um, sort of crude drawings, really, I guess. Magnum with a scope, yeah, I think so. The elevator music was Battlefield music. <laughs> so good. A six times scope on a Magnum, yeah. So this guy's doing another takedown on him. What? That was a that was a launcher. Oh, I can't see what it is. He fires and it just lights up the screen too much. Okay, what does that look like there? I think that's the best shot I'm gonna get by just pausing here in the YouTube player. But this looks like, is this a small? It looks like a small to me. It doesn't look like the Carl Gustav. Because that kind of opens up more towards the end, like we saw in the cinematic trailer. <clears throat> that thing fires fast. 
So, okay, here we go. This guy, you can see he's actually got the C4 in hand here. And so that's what that symbol is. That's the C4. What does it say on it here? Active maximum distance detonate. So I'm assuming, yeah, we didn't actually see him put it on the quad here. <laughs> Zip lining from building to building. That's really awesome. Attack heli underneath. So there's a red headshot marker there. So this is what I've been looking at here. This this is an attack helicopter, right? What is this? Look, the gunners are just firing out of the sides. Like there's two gunners in there. Look at that. That's an Apache. And right here, you see he gains some altitude. He kind of goes around the corner and he gains altitude with the ring, the wingsuit. Looks like a Pavlov from Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, it kind of does. Revive countdown on the squad names on the left, was there? Let me see. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't notice that. Well spotted. It is as well, yeah. So you can see how long till your squad mate's gonna spawn on you. That's That's really helpful actually. If you're alone on a flag, you're waiting for your squad mates hiding. And the slide, like in COD, yeah, I mean, they had the slide in BF5, so it makes sense. I think most people like that. The wingsuit is a medic as well, because before they jumped, there was a revive prompt. Was there? Let's go back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it there on the ground. There it is. Well, that's not necessarily confirmed, though, because it could be that anybody can revive, just like in Battlefield 5, but certain specialists do it faster than others. See, right, down there, let's just have a look at the flags here. Here's B, here's A, and here's C. I'm not sure if it is, like... Judging that there's only five points, the fact that you can see three of them here kind of, I mean, you can't really tell the distance, but it maybe makes the, the map not look that big. But again, this is like a pre-alpha, so what do I know? There's the, the little smart car thing, whatever you want to call this, the tuk-tuk. Getting whisked off into the tornado. Helicopters flaring out, so who we got here? Captain Otter. Two passengers. Oh, this is the, this is inside the tuk tuk. <clears throat> oh, here you can see the Osprey, right? So there's a gun on either side there. So it looks like the gunners are just going to control the guns. There's no like being sat in the side of the transport helicopter the same way you would be in Battlefield Four. It looks like you're just going to steer the gun from inside, so you you won't be able to be picked off there. There's I I don't think there's one on the front. Everything's going, have you noticed this? As he's in the tornado, the entire UI is starting to like glitch out. Oof, that was a KA-50 or 52, wasn't it? Yeah. That was the attack heli that was on the rooftop with the two gunners on the sides there. So it could be that the Apache, it could be that the Apache has a rear gunner and a front gunner and the KA-52 has side gunners. I imagine the, the carnage you can cause with one of those things on a rooftop. Okay. So here again, we can see uh, munitions on the F-35. This is an Apache again. Some sort of, it doesn't look like it's actually that heavily armed here. It looks like it's got rocket pods. And you can see the front gun. I can't see any other weapons. There's maybe one there. Other than that, I can't really see much. Here we've got the same specialist we saw before. With a pretty beefy sight on there, though. And this is, of course, um, I forget the name of the map, but it's the snowy one. <clears throat> Here we've got one of the hovercraft. Do the hovercraft have weapons? I'm not, I can't really tell if it's firing there. I don't think it is, but there's something on top of it. See, right here we've got another map 
And again, they're showing an F-35, but they're not showing, or is, sorry, is that an F-57? I'm not that much of an expert to be able to tell from this angle. But again, they're not showing an attack yet. So I'm sort of thinking, why well, every, th every time I say F-35, it's an SU-57. <laughs> I'm so bad. <clears throat> Why why is there no attack jet being shown? Maybe they're just keeping it under wraps. They're like, no, we're gonna we're gonna wait and we're gonna reveal that at EA Play. I really hope that's the case. But it could be that the F-35 is just replacing it, you know, like somebody said earlier. You can see the heli here in the distance firing off some rocket pods. That looks beast, man. I wonder if he's firing at that infantry dude parachuting. Or he's probably <laughs> probably firing at that smoking fiery attack helicopter. This guy's got the same loadout here, so we're not really seeing uh, different loadouts or anything. Should check that. Oh. Come back. There you are. It's really hard to get the right frames, isn't it? Yeah, that's the SU-57 again. Oh, this looks good though. A bit of indoor fighting here. Yeah, this is the first specialist that we looked at. This guy has a riot shield. A huge riot shield with a massive window in it. That's nice. Actually, you can see through the for change. And the rocket takeoff. Tank coming down here. That's another stealth jet or fighter. This is an LMG, though, that this guy's got. Doesn't I think it's definitely got lost a few rounds here. KA-52 again. Cool one. I really wish they'd talk about the game a little bit, you know, just actually give us some answers. That was it, wasn't it? That's it. That's the, that's the lot, guys. That's it, man. Oh, I, it was good. It was good. I'm impressed, but... I really wish they would have had a little presentation and said, you know, let's talk about the game a bit. This is how some things work. This is how, you know, some of the mechanics in the game are. Culling in tanks could be a squad leader only command. I think it could be. It could be like in Battlefield 5, man. That's, uh, that's definitely possible. I think you're definitely going to have to get points in either way to call in vehicles. To the left of the rocket launch, there's an A-10. I don't think it was an A-10, man. I'm pretty sure it was not. I saw that. That's what I said. Was it right there? That's not an A-10. That's... Or is it? Is that no? No, it's not an A-10. You can see the... You can see the wingtips coming up here. Like... Like that. Unfortunately. Oh, you, have my, you got my hopes up there, man. I thought it was wrong. <laughs> But um, I'm sure they're not going to show everything. They don't want to show every single loadout for every vehicle that's in the game, every vehicle that's in the game, or all of the operators. You know, they're only showing at the moment four out of ten operators. So it makes sense that they want to keep those things under wraps. Some of those things. I'm still praying for an A10 though. But I'm impressed, guys. It looks it looks good. I can't wait to see more.